Hello, so you want to know how to make cake in Power World. All right, let's jump into it. To make cake, you of course will need a cooking pot at the very least. So we'll open the cooking pot and show you cake, right? Well, why would you want to make cake? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably already know, but just in case, this is needed to breed your dinos so you can get eggs from them and make, say dinos? I, I mean pals, I've been playing Ark for way too long. <laughs> So cake will allow your pals to breed and make more pals and possibly combinations of pals that make new pals. So this is going to be a very important part of the game. So to make it, you need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. And that's it. Now you know how to make cake, right? No, I'm just kidding. That's not it, right? How do you get the flour? We probably know how to get the red berries. How do you get the milk, eggs, and honey? We'll jump into all of that. Of course, red berries can be gathered by killing the little pink cats or... Uh, or by gathering berry bushes, but of course, you can grow them in berry farms, right? If, you, if you're following the tutorial, you will have planted at least one of these, so you should know how to get berries. All right, and then to get your flower, it's almost the same as the berry. You create a wheat farm, so you have to be high enough level to make wheat farms. Once you're high enough level to make wheat farms, you can drop the wheat farms and grow wheat, all right? And that'll be part of the process. So then you take the wheat, right? Then you take the wheat and you put it in one of these, the mill, all right? So we can take and we can now make the flour from wheat. So we queue it up, and then you need a water dino to come over and breathe water on it. You can pick one up and throw it here and assign it to it, and it'll do that. And that's how you make flour. How do you get wheat to begin with? Maybe you're on that quest to, to make a wheat farm, but you haven't been able to figure out how to get wheat. There's a couple of ways to go about it. One is to buy it from a traveling merchant. So if you run a traveling merchant and you have gold, you can probably buy a couple of wheat seeds. If you don't, you will need to find but if you don't want to buy from a traveling merchant, then you'll need to find one of these guys. Right, these are the Dino Psalms. And where you can find them, I'll show you on the map. Okay, and you may be wanting to catch them. Because when you catch a POW, you usually get their resource. Unfortunately, every time I've caught one, I've not gotten wheat seeds. So, instead of catching them, you're actually going to have to kill them. Uh, it may just be a glitch where they're not giving wheat seeds when captured, and maybe that'll get patched. But as you saw, I just killed this one, and I didn't get any wheat seeds. So it's possible there's only a chance of getting wheat seeds from these guys. Uh, so it may take a little while to get wheat seeds. Of course, we have the red berry bushes so you can get berries from. And you get berry seeds from those, which allow you to plant berries. Alright, so in order to get eggs, if you don't know how to get eggs, you can kill chickens. Right, or you can um you can catch them and they'll give you an egg. And that's one way of getting eggs from these guys. So another way to get eggs is to have a chicken that you've captured as a pal. This one is a dragon killer with hard skin. We'll go ahead and move it into our pals at the base plot here. Alright. And it's gonna run over here to this farm. So if we have a farm set up, or right, you that's another step, you'll need to set up a farm. If you don't know, I guess they're called a ranch, so they're just the next to the, in the same area as you have the pal box, craft it, drop it down, build it, and then put your chicken in the base, and your chicken will go to the farm and start laying eggs. So if, if the chicken isn't laying eggs or isn't under, assigning itself to the ranch, you can pick it up, look at the ranch around this box here, and where it says the pal can be assigned, throw it, boom, pal is now assigned, your chickens will now lay eggs. All right, so that's how you get your eggs. So what about milk and honey? All right, well, let's head over where you can get some of the starter stuff for milk and honey and go from there. Some of the first pals you can run into that will give you honey is going to be this Cinemoth. And so basically you capture these. All right, so you notice the Cinemoths are level 18, so you're going to want to bring some pals with you. Uh, traveling up to where they are can be dangerous. So, and taking them on can definitely be dangerous, especially if you're a low level. Oops, killed that one too. No! <laughs> And as you can see, even even though I'm higher level than my capture rate for these guys, it's pretty low with a normal pal sphere. So you may want to bring some better pal spheres as well to capture them. And then I'll show you where they are on the map. You can catch them in this area here. And this will be one of the easier ones to get honey from. Of course, some of the other pals you can get honey from are going to be the Bee Guard, the Elizabeth, and the Warsec. Okay, well, as you can see, we kill the moths, we get honey. <laughs> we capture the moths, we can take them back to base and kill... We'll get honey from capturing them, and then we can take them back to base, and we can get uh, honey by slaughtering them with our butcher knife at base as well, doubling the amount of honey we get from the moths. 
They're over level 20. The green Pokeballs catch them better than the blue ones. Alright, for the next method, we're going to be capturing Bee Guards and Elizabeths. Alright, so we'll go ahead and show you the area they're in. Alright, so you can find them all around in these areas. Of course, it's going to get dark. Might be a little hard to see. Oh no, where'd the Elizabeth go? Okay, she's up it's up there, level 29. Ooh! That's, I, I might have to get my pal out for this and hope I don't kill everybody. Oh yeah. We're going to need to use the yellow spheres for these guys to make sure we can capture them. See if we can get a bee guard. Oh, 60% chance. Already? One more tick, come on. Yes, we captured a bee guard. Alright, let's see if we can get in the Elise bee. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pull him back, pull him back. Okay, there we go. This bee's a bit harder to capture. Where do the other bee guards go? Do we kill them? Okay, so if you catch an Elizabeth, you can get an Elizabeth staff, which does double the metal spear <laughs> damage. So that's awesome. Okay, so one thing you need to know about the bee guards is what I'm about to show you right here. So as you can see, it's spinning around me and blinking, and and yeah, there it goes. They they calmly cause you explode. They do a lot of damage. Uh, you don't want to be caught by this, <laughs> and of course, you miss out on the uh, the bee guard if they do this. All right, we're back at the base, and now we have our bee guard. And if you notice, we can throw the bee guard in here. Pal can be assigned to ranch. So you kind of got to look around in the ranch until you see the pal can be assigned, and then throw it in. Boom! And now the bee guard will make honey. All right, let's pull the Lisby out and see if the Lisby will do the same thing. Now you see the Lisby cannot be assigned to the ranch. If you can find an Lisby, they are quite useful. Uh, they're level 2, I believe, in medicine and things like uh, Maybe crafting. So if we look at the Elizabeth, though, they are worth catching and using because they have level 2 planting, level 2 handiwork, level 2 medicine production, and level 2 gathering. Alright, so I'm going to show you a way to get milk, eggs, and wheat seeds. Um, you can come up to a wandering merchant, go in and see what he has to sell. And as you can see, we could buy wheat seeds. So if we have 300 gold, we can get 3 wheat seeds and make 1 wheat farm. But if we had to, we're really rich, we just buy all our wheat from them. Uh, you can buy eggs from them. And you can buy milk from them. So if you haven't been able to find milk and you can just you just want to make a few cakes and you have enough goat, just go ahead and load up on milk from these guys. But we'll go ahead and show you another way to get milk that doesn't cost you any gold. So another way to get milk is to find the Mozarinas. Now if we run over there and scare them, go ahead and show you where they're at. So they're in this area here. Alright. If you everyone come to this area, there are aggressive pals that can are pretty powerful, and then there's more powerful syndicates here. Alright, so, unfortunately, unfortunately, the cows will run from you and they won't fight back. So you just have to chase them down and catch them. And the cows, you can see the crossbow's pretty devastating. I guess if you find a herd of them, they will... Oh, they're fighting back this time. Okay. Well, I was wrong about that. I guess if you find a herd of them, they'll fight back. So that's good. But when there's just one or two, they'll just run. Of course, catching them will net you some resources, so we can get some milk by catching and killing them. So as you can see, we can make five cakes with because we only have a few resources right now. So it will take a little while to build your cake supply up, so you may want to get a couple of wheat farms going so you can get that flour going. And of course, everything else will be pretty much passive on the uh, ranch. Uh, you can pop down a couple of ranches if you need. Alright, and so then once you start production on the cake, you can sit here and cook it yourself, which as you see... It can take a little while, and I have my crafting uh, kind of leveled up a lot. So but what you can do instead is take a fire pal. Like this one will kind of work go between the different things, but uh, you can just assign them to the cooking pot. And now your fire pal will only cook. And then uh, you can just let them passively cook and move on and go about your day. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.